Meanwhile, New Mexico State submitted a waiver on Monday to the NCAA to allow the Aggies to be bowl eligible with a 5 and 6 record. The governing body of collegiate athletics ruled in their favor today, granting NMSU's waiver to become bowl eligible. New Mexico State has to wait to be officially selected on Sunday, but I do fully expect the Aggies to go bowling for the second time in 61 years. Now, as a quick refresher, the Aggies applied for the waiver because they weren't able to play their scheduled 12th game versus San Jose State due to tragic circumstances uh, by the death of a Spartans player forcing a cancellation. FBS teams have to win six games to be bowl eligible, but when there's not enough six win teams to fill out all the bowls, five win teams do come into play. NMSU's waiver effectively moved them to the front of the line of five win teams. New Mexico State's athletic director Mario Mocha said it was good to be heard by the NCAA today, but now they'll wait to see where they're headed on Sunday. The options do include the New Mexico Bowl in Albuquerque. You're happy primarily that you're in a bowl, right? How much it helps recruiting, how much it helps for the future. And then the secondary thing is, boy, it would be great if it was convenient for all the fans that they could get to easily. So um, we'll let the chips fall where they may. They've set the standard. You know, they've set the standard or at least, you know, laid the floor, the basement, the floor. Now we start framing the house. And that's our job to continue to bring in good players. NMSU last went bowling in 2017, winning the Arizona Bowl over Utah State. Before that, you got to go all the way back to 1960. The Aggies are one of just two FBS teams that are undefeated all the time in bowl games. They'll look to improve to 6-6 six six on the season with a victory over FCS foe Valparaiso Saturday at 1 p.m.